Who's ready for another weird cake? This cake looks like dentures, and dentures look like teeth, and teeth are used to eat cake. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a cake of dentures. When I carve a cake, I end up with cake scraps. Here's a bowl of them. I mix in small dollops of buttercream until I end up with a consistency that keeps its shape when I press my thumb in it. This is how cake balls are made. But rather than make balls today, I'm going to make dentures. I'm rolling out the cake mixture, placing a teeth-shaped stencil on top, and cut out two layers. I actually measured my own teeth to make this stencil. It was weird. Then I stack the two layers of cake with some green buttercream between them. Now I'll just place the cake in the fridge to chill. I'm rolling out teeth-colored modeling chocolate. Then I bring the cold cake back out of the fridge and I place the modeling chocolate over top. I work the modeling chocolate into the shape of the cake and then I trim away the excess chocolate. Since the cake is cold, it's firm. So that means I can just pick the cake up and work the chocolate around the bottom. I've got a lot of extra chocolate gathered here, so I just trim it away. I flip the cake back over and I'm ready to sculpt. Check out this mug. This is a Sidesurf Cake Studio mug. You can get one too at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. And if you're left-handed, images on both sides and get your own. I'm blending in an extra coil of modeling chocolate for the gums. And then I map out the placement of each tooth. Starting with the incisors, working my way back to the molars. I'm sculpting tooth sockets. I do this before adding the teeth to make sure that they'll fit properly on this particular size cake. Now that I've mapped out the placement of the teeth, I'm adding them one by one. Sculpting all these teeth takes a long time. Each tooth has its own unique shape. Once the bottom teeth are in, then I can figure out the placement of the top teeth based off of the bottom, so that all the teeth line up just right. This cake made me realize that I actually enjoy sculpting teeth. I like the way each tooth fits snugly in the gums. And being that I'm a human, I enjoy the repetition of the teeth and the symmetry. A lot of you ask how I come up with my cake ideas. I know that it seems like I may just look around the room and pick an object and then just make it, but I really put a lot of thought into my cake designs. There are a few things that I always consider, and one of them is how people feel about the object. Will it make them feel good or nostalgic? Or will they find the cake off-putting, which may be the, the case, case with this cake? cake? I find this cake to be really funny, but not everybody thinks like me, so everyone's gonna have a different reaction. And all of these reactions are welcome. There's a surreal element to my cakes that's really playful. Some people think my cakes are a work of art, and some people find them to be frivolous. <laughs> I actually think they're both. I like that people have such a strong reaction to what I create. The teeth are looking good, so now I'm gonna shape the gums and add some texture to the palette. It is time to paint. I've got my brushes, I've got my food color. I'm using red, white, and ivory to create the color of the gums, resulting in this pretty pink. The first thing to do is get the color on there. Then I'll go in and refine the colors. This cake is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't help but think of those wind up chattering teeth toys. Cake's a gag. I'm getting a little pink on the teeth, but that's totally fine. I can just go in with a little bit of water and a clean brush and I can just clean it as I go. I'm adding a little ivory around the edges of the teeth because teeth aren't actually perfectly white. Then I add a few highlights and some shadows. And last, I'm adding a glaze to make these pearly whites nice and shiny. And there you have it, a cake of dentures. The cake that no one asked for. <laughs> I really wanna hear what you guys think about this one. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna get some flack for this one, but I really like it. <laughs> if you find this cake entertaining, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for a new realistic cake every single week. And I'll see you next week for another cake.